What is up, YouTube? This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater and my Larry, man. So, oh, we stepped on each other. <laughs> Larry, Larry Magoo with SVS. He is the man, the myth, the legend when it comes to SVS. Anyways, we got something really cool for you here today. We have a lot of homeowners asking me constantly, what should I do at the rear of the room when I can't get my wires back there? But they still want high fidelity audio. Yeah, it's a thing that we've been looking at for 30, 40, 50 years. People want to do wireless surround sound of some sort. We got your answers right here. Yeah. So make sure to smash that subscribe button down below and give us a big thumbs up. All right, we're going to get into it right after the intro. All right, get into it, Larry. All right. Tell them what's so up. This is going to be a little more geek-centric for some of you guys out there, but... When it comes down to doing surround sound in a space, there's a lot of rooms that don't cater to running wires or can be difficult because of placement, can be difficult due to you can't install whatever you need to do. You can't run through walls, can't get in an attic, tile flooring like I have in my case. So running wires can be very difficult. So some of the manufacturers out there are starting to create wireless surround sound systems, but they're not very affordable. So let's show you a solution that's gonna be way more affordable than you might realize. So we've done another video on our wireless uh, audio adapter kit. And so the SoundPath wireless audio adapter, as we showed earlier, can be used for subwoofers, turntables, CD players, you name it, headphones. But it can also be used to transmit signal from the front of your room to the back of your room if you have a receiver that has a preamp for rear, left, and right. So not a ton of them do. So before you take this step, make sure you look at the back of your receiver to verify you do have pre-out for your rear, left, and right speakers. So how do we do it? Well. The transmission kit comes with two pieces. Well, it comes with a lot of pieces, but it comes with two pieces you're gonna use here. You have a transmitter and you have a receiver. So we were just talking about the back of your receiver. We have your rear, left, and right pre-out. That is where your transmitter is going to go. So you're going to connect that up through, through your rear, left, and right pre-out using these cables here, the left and right stereo. Plug that in, get it powered, and now it will transmit the signal from your rear, left, and right speakers to this reception kit. So this is the other end of this piece. Now this is where it gets a little fun. You have a couple different options from SVS here. We showed you earlier our prime wireless powered bookshelf speakers. Well, these can be a powered rear solution once you get the signal to them. And the way that works, you take the receiver end, plug it into the left and right down here, and now I am receiving signal for my rear surrounds. And all I gotta do is plug them up get power to them, run the cord from here to here, and then I will have a volume adjustment here I can adjust. So let's look like you're opening up a Marantz receiver here with the pre-out rear left and right. And so down over here, let's see, down here I've got my surround, so I'd plug this in right here. Boom, transmitting, receiving. Now I would have surround sound without having to run wires to the back. I'm flip that room. around, show. it, sir. So with this, I've got a solution here in the wireless transmission kit that's $119.99 and our powered bookshelf speakers, which are $599 for the pair. Now, if you have your own speakers, or maybe you do have some speakers in the back of the room that you'd like to use, you can do the exact same setup as I just showed you with the powered bookshelves using our sound base amplifier. This is just genius. I've had so many of you guys ask me what to do in these situations, and this is still high fidelity Absolutely. audio. And so when you start looking at those little kits out there for wireless surround sound, they're normally 20, 20 watts, 30 watts per speaker. Yeah, it's garbage. So using the prime wireless pair, those are 100, uh, 100 watts per channel. Well, the other solution could be using our sound base that's 150 by two, Plugging in the receiving end down here to your aux input, left and right. Run your speaker wire to your speakers, get this powered up. And now this can power your rear speakers once it's receiving signal here from your receiver that has the output to the rear left and right via pre-out. So that's a super simple solution. It's plug and play. You just adjust the volume a little bit back here, then leave it. You don't have to touch it. And anytime you turn on something, it automatically is defaulted to the analog aux connection back here. So you're good to go. And so once again, that is a phenomenally easy way for you to do wireless rear speakers without having to run wires to the back of your room. So if you have a two channel amp, that's a solution. If you have some powered speakers, that's a solution. If not, these guys can get you set up with our prime wireless speakers or the prime wireless sound base and our wireless sound path audio adapter kit.
absolutely genius. Yeah, it's My man. Too, guys. That is super cool. And if you guys still are confused, just give us a call. We'll help you out. We'll walk you through it. Make sure you fully understand how it works or hook you up with a local installer. If you like this video and found it informative, make sure to give us a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button down below. Until next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater with my man, Larry. Thanks for watching, guys.